Hey everyone, it's Ivan, KeepAdger.com, here to tell you about my visit to Gorilla Ammunition. While out in Florida, I was able to stop by, check out Gorilla Ammunition, pretty much kind of see how the operation runs, as well as speak to one of their owners. In addition to that, check out some pretty cool stuff that kind of their sister company, PCP, is working on. Hey guys, I'm Lance Padgett. I'm the President and CEO of Gorilla Ammunition and PCP Ammunition here in Vero Beach, Florida. We have two sides of the house here. We have Gorilla Ammunition, which you may be familiar with. It makes high quality, extremely accurate brass cased ammunition. The other side of the house is PCP Ammunition. We make lightweight polymer cased ammunition. Uh, we've been working with the DOD for several years on this endeavor. If you're a shooter at Gorilla Ammunition, I'm sure we have something that fits your needs. We have a target line, a self-defense line, and a hunt line, all with the newest technology in projectiles for different performance needs. At PCP Ammunition or with our polymer cases, it's something you'll be seeing soon because the DOD is requiring lightweight cases for all their new weapons platforms. I always appreciate getting to see how things are made. That stuff interests me. And while there, I got to see pretty much that manufacturing process, how their ammo gets made, packaged it up, how they test it out, whether they're testing new loads, things along those lines, in-house, like in their facility, they actually have this indoor range where bunch of different barrels and stuff they can test for accuracy function all those different things without having to make a trip outside of the facility and overall check it out what was really cool for me though was to check out kind of the pcp side of the house what does gorilla's sister company pcp do well they make ammunition also but it's polymer cased ammunition so if you're unfamiliar the military wants to move towards a better belt-fed weapon system. By better, I mean lighter and also in a caliber that is going to reach out further, basically cover even more distance, whether it's 338 Norma Mag, 260, whatever it ends up being, they're looking for something to basically fill that gap and yeah, shoot further, also at the same time be lighter. So where this comes in is part of that whole kind of selection program process is polymer cased ammunition. Why? Because it's lighter, significantly lighter. What is the significant weight savings? Well, if you are in the infantry and you're two hours into a eight hour patrol, one pound is significant weight savings. But with the polymer cased ammo, they're looking at about 30% weight savings, which is significant. So 20 pounds of ammo is now what, 14 pounds? That's really significant. But it goes beyond just kind of like the infantrymen too. So think about all your different mobile platforms as far as helicopters, anything like that. Any of these different platforms that are carrying ammo, like 30% weight savings, that's, that's really huge across the entire board, like logistically. Think of just fuel expenditures, like shipping the ammo. And while well, it's kind of like, okay, whatever. I mean, I as an infantryman wouldn't care, but I can appreciate a huge savings across the board with ultimately lighter ammunition. I was fortunate enough to see some of the polymer cased ammunition being made. And by made, I mean basically the bottom portion, the metal portion on your polymer cased ammunition, every single piece is machined, like CNC machined. These big rods are fed in and the CNC machine goes to town, puts out one at a time, things going like pretty much 24 hours a day, like they just keep loading this thing up. And obviously with that, it's kind of cost prohibitive to make, but at the same time, they're making thousands and thousands of rounds for all the testing and evaluation they're doing. And once basically it's bigger contracts, stuff like that, they'll of course expand, but really cool seeing that stuff being made. Beyond the obvious weight savings of polymer cased ammunition, there's kind of a couple other benefits that should be going along with it. One is increased barrel life and increased accuracy, both of which kind of pertain to heat in that with a brass case, ultimately brass is really good at transferring heat. It's conductive. Polymer case, not so much. So as you're firing, especially a high cyclic rate, rather than all of that heat immediately be transferred into the chamber, into the barrel, which one, barrel life, two, accuracy, as that thing starts to heat up. Ultimately, polymer cased ammunition is going to keep your barrels cooler and, in theory, give you longer barrel life as well. 
pretty cool. I was fortunate enough while I was out there to actually go spend some time on the range with them as well. Got to shoot a bunch of different stuff and yeah, it was a good time. Shot a couple different rounds into clear ballistic gel, not like FBI standard, anything like that, just for no other reason to kind of see, kind of see what these rounds were doing inside the ballistic gel, how are they opening up. So to that end, some 300 blackout as well as some of their 9 mil and stuff was pretty cool. Then my buddy Danny got behind their 50 cal and put around into that ballistic gel at 300 yards, which was really impressive. Also got to just shoot some fun stuff. Belt fed 300 blackout suppressed because it was fun. Did get to shoot some of the polymer case stuff, 338 Norma mag, shot some tannerite out at like 300 yards, as well as a bunch of steel. <laughs> and also shot a couple rounds out of the 50 cal suppressed, oh, that's, that's, that's and kicks a lot. To the end of polymer cased ammo. Try to get some rounds going in there. This is a Mark 48 chambered in 260. And for whatever reason, the weapon system was having some trouble, but it is what it is. Ultimately, it was a great time kind of checking out all their different products. If you're looking for some high quality ammo, whether it's training, personal defense, hunting, check out Grill Ammunition. They have a pretty good line all kinds of different calibers as well. And personally, I'm actually really excited to see where the whole polymer cased ammunition thing goes. I think with respect to kind of the industry and technology, that's one of the few places that hasn't really been explored and it's neat to see it happening. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.